Emily Antushik, and this is Consider It Maps. Last month, we began to talk about the choices faced by many students and their families during the summer as they consider school options for the fall, and we started by focusing on charter schools. Charter schools are one of the primary providers of public school choice in North Carolina, though in many districts, there are even more public choice options. For instance, while some students opt to attend their assigned school that's assigned to them based on their neighborhood or residential school zone, and others opt to attend charter schools, still others will opt to apply for a seat in a public school that's outside of their residential zone or district. There are many different types of schools that fall into this category, and for the purposes of this month's discussion, we'll refer to these schools as district choice schools. This month's map shows the proportion of all schools in a district that are characterized as district choice schools, including traditional public schools that accept students outside of their attendance zones, magnet schools, early colleges, and cooperative innovative schools. You might notice that there are many districts that do not offer public choice options at all, and that there are no defined regions or clusters of districts where there are more district choice schools. You probably also noticed one county that's providing choice options above and beyond all of the others. The Winston-Salem Forsyth County School System, where 91% of all public schools are considered district choice schools. For more about district choice school types and some of the more unique choice options, please see the article that accompanies this month's maps. The bar chart below the map filters based on the district selected. It's worth noticing that the population numbers of district choice school students are estimates, as some students automatically enroll in their default neighborhood options and others may apply to attend. As we talk about providing parents or guardians with the opportunity to choose the education options they feel are best suited to their students, the same considerations from last month's discussion apply. How much choice can and should a public system be able to accommodate. Perhaps data from districts that are almost fully choice, like Winston-Salem Foresight, can help leaders further define how the district choice system should work across the state. If you have thoughts about the effectiveness about district choice in your school system, please reach out to us and share them on ednc.org.